welcome back to our youtube channel and today we are going to see about how to fix table diffusion error code 128 before getting into the video make sure you have hit the like button and subscribe button and stay updated for the latest videos so table diffusion is a programmatic technology you can create any graphic illust illustration by inputting the text description in this video, you will understand why the error occurs and how to launch this table diffusion successfully. Table diffusion error code 128 occurs when there is an ownership issue with the downloaded repository or an incomplete file inside the repository. So these are the following uh, causes. There needs to be a proper ownership detected. The file inside this table diffusion is not completely cloned. Or you might not run the file as an administrator while installing. So how to fix the stable diffusion error code 128? Before installing the stable diffusion, ensure that you have the required system configuration. You can check the system configuration here by clicking the link. Here the documentation and you should have Windows 10 or 11 or Linux or Mac. And you should have NVIDIA graphic card, 4 virtual RAM. And you should have 8 GP of a device RAM and 20 to 25 GB. If you get the error code 128, then follow the a step below. Add your email address on your Git client. So sometimes error code 128 occurs if the file cannot identify its owner. So add an email address to your Git. So to add an email address, open GitHub uh, client application, click on files and tap on options. So click on Git tab and from the opened window, input name and email address associated with your Git account. Click on the save button from the open window. Now download the file from GitHub by clicking the commit to master or then to download the file. So now you can access the table diffusion file without any error. So second solution is fix the stable diffusion path. So you have to check the repositories folder and make sure everything in the folder is complete. As the error message says, first run and try to fix the path. So if the error occurs because of an issue with the installed path as repository, so run the following command. Open your terminal and run git config hyphen global hyphen edit. So this command will automatically edit and fix the repo. If you cannot find the recorded file, then run the following command with the directory. So the file path may vary depends on your downloaded location and also check for any type of error while inputting the command. So if it doesn't resolve the issue, then reinstall the stable execution file again. Solution number three. Delete the repository and reinstall it again. So deleting the file from the directory will help you with the first, uh, first installation. Delete one like the stable diffusion uh, hyphen stable at AI folder from your Windows. Then delete app data by typing local app data in the run command and find and locate the stable diffusion folder and delete it. So if you cannot find the folder, don't worry. Please ignore it. Please uh, delete the temporary files by running the command percentage term in the run command box. Restart your system. Go to D drive and create a fresh folder for stable diffusion. Now download the file from the git library and extract it to the newly created stable diffusion folder in the D drive. After download the file successfully, follow the next step. So now you have uh, downloaded the file. So now you need to find the web UI user dot button. So find and locate web UI user dot bat file. Right click on it and click on the run as administrator. So now try launching the stable diffusion and you can access it without any error. <coughs> I hope you found this video useful and finally fixed the error code 128 and you are you can successfully launch the stable diffusion file without any error. So hit the like button and the bell icon. Stay tuned for the more videos like this. Thank you.